what's going on youtube welcome back to another video so today i just want to make a kind of a quick video talking about the um power system on the 19yg so as you can see i have the panel open here just to show you guys um this back area here on the integra launch 19yg is different from the lithium um version as you can see there's no um, big opening the 19y has a big battery if it's the lithium version and when you replace that people have issues you have to wait on it it's a very expensive battery it's proprietary almost um i don't really like it i also don't like my van because of the propane um generator setup as you can see down here that's a that's a battery sorry i can't show you let me show you that's two batteries right here 115 uh amp hour each totaling 230 plus this uh, Onan um, generator here. And there's a propane tank, let me show you, uh, up here, down here, down here, that propane tank right there, the white one, right there. It's about a 15 pound propane tank. I don't like this setup. I just don't like how the location of them. I don't like how they hang low like that, especially the generator. and. I bought this van because of affordability. This is the cheapest like build out that I that I came across um, from the Mesa RV. There is a cheaper one, which is the Winnebago stripped out version. It doesn't have AC, and I think it's like a bare bones uh, adventure um, wagon style inside. And yeah, that's cool. But it's just like I kind of like the build out of the Integra launch. So um, we're talking about. $15,000 difference in price uh, ultimately so it's really up to you if you want to start with a more bare bones van that's kind of like a better solution I would say if you're going to change these out anyway but if you're somebody that doesn't care about this stuff then you can just rock it like this I did a van compass suspension which kind of uh, managed the weight a little bit nicer so but it's not enough because sometimes I want to go off-road and the clearance on this is not ideal so um, my long-term plan is to change this to a lithium setup, which my argument is an aftermarket lithium setup is still better than what the OEM offers anyway. So my plan, I want to show you, is um, get a custom box here. So I think the best solution is to get a custom box here because there's not going to be the way this box is now this 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 molding here it's not gonna fit um enough batteries in here so i think i have to come out a little bit more there's a, i have a more room to come out i can come out like almost up to this rail here for the bed and then like just get a custom box so um something that has a trap door where i can access the batteries maybe four batteries in here i'm, I'm estimating I'm gonna have to pay somebody to do, to do this because I'm not good at electronics or or dismantling this van. So I'll be honest, if it was a bare van with nothing in it, I probably could do it. But with all these furniture in here, I'm not really handy with that stuff and I don't wanna bro break anything. Um, I'm probably gonna have somebody completely wire this thing for me. There's so many or like you know lights that's already in here, the AC unit. So I want to replace the AC unit, first of all. I want to replace the AC unit that's in here, the Coleman Mach-Q, with something more low profile and silent because running the generator is loud, plus the running that is loud. So it's just, so far, that's what we've noticed. So battery-wise, I'm going to be doing 400 amp hours. And right now, there's a 200 amp hour solar up top, but I think I can upgrade that to... Two two hundred watt uh two 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 hundred pan watt panels, totaling to four, making it four hundred watt uh solar array up there, on the roof, and then with four hundred amp hour batteries and then, a nicer you know so basically lithium setup Victron, with a uh you know with a monitor and everything like that so it's gonna be an expensive setup but, um, you cannot remedy, the where you know this this. There's no way to remedy it. I can put the Opti-Rate spring maybe to counteract the weight of it, the, the the generator and the batteries at the back here, but the placement of the of the weight being rear, behind the rear axle is just not ideal. You feel 
um, when I'm carrying my motorcycle on the hitch, there's just so much weight at the back of the van where there's no more feel on the front, really. Like, it's, I just don't like it. The Opti-Rate spring might counteract it, but you're just basically masking the problem. The problem is where they put this thing. So putting that inside there is a little bit nicer. Um, lithium is also heavy with all those batteries, but not as heavy as this. This is 200 something pounds. So at least I'm gonna be shaving, I'm guessing, I don't know, close to 100. Taking out the, the 15 pound tank there, taking out this 100, I think this is 100 pound on its own. And those two batteries are about two, 100 something pounds together. It's not gonna be equal exchange. So this is gonna be still lighter. Um, for uh, 100 amp hour lithium batteries plus the new inverter, a new controller, simpler wiring setup that's one of the, well first of all that's simpler Sim less less hoses underneath here less wiring cleaner more uh it's just the benefits is 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 a lot so i don't want to i mean it, it is expensive but the benefits if you're going to be using your van long term this van i i foresee myself using this van long term and the thing is like no oem option offers this be, you know that better than this so you ha you're gonna have to just you it's always gonna be aftermarket there's nothing oem that offers this uh kind of upgrade uh in this manner so um not even the winnebago revel is a nice uh yeah because they they kind of make everything cookie cutter so that they make you know whatever is cheap that's not going to be the most efficient equipment they're going to use they're going to use the most bang for the buck type build right so anything aftermarket that it, it's all they do for, i have a shop here that does it it's all they do is upgrade um lithium vans uh, vans to lithium and and solar panels and stuff like that so they always just they do what's the most efficient and the best um equipment ever so that's kind of like where my head is at right now and it's uh kind of want to put this video out there because a lot of people are asking me like hey how's the 19 yg you know is it can you live with it and like how's the um how's the generator is it noisy and yes it's noisy it's also you hear it vibrate in here um i guess if you're <laughs> yeah you hear it vibrate also the ac is loud so it's hard to sleep with them on but it's doable but um yeah i just want to let people let, let people know how it is really honestly um but the price is the price it's cheap you know you compare this to a uh, um a Winnebago Rebel, you're saving a lot of money. So let's say, let's say you buy this van right now for 115. Let's say you, out the door you're about 120 something, um, and then you shell out, let's say 15 grand in like whatever battery system you have. Maybe even cheaper than that if you do it yourself or you do a, you know, I'm my my the one I designed the one I designed with labor is about 12. So 11, 12. 10 to 10 to 12,000 you can probably do something yourself for like six grand you know if you know how to do it yourself you're handy you can probably do something like that so if so you save money buying this van use it for a little bit use the the you know the kind of caveman style power setup and then later on upgrade to a lithium set system that you you want to design yourself which now I have a good picture of what I want to do it's actually I think it's a better route to take than just buying a lithium van all, all of a sudden, like the 19Y or the Winnebago Revel, because even those are not built nicely, like I said, as an aftermarket build. So here it is. Uh, I just kind of want to give a, a short 10 minute video. Um, it's going to be a custom box is what I'm picturing here. Easier access for the future. I'm, I want to have it designed so that I, in the future, I can just replace the batteries myself. I can just disconnect some cables here, replace the batteries with newer batteries. That's kind of like why I want to go aftermarket with this so that it's designed in a way that's serviceable uh, moving forward. So, all right. Hopefully, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I just want to make this super quick because I think this is like something in the back of people's minds. There's the 19YG. There's not a lot of information out there. I think there's only one or two people that have it, me included. So here it is, more information for you guys.